This is not what anorexia looks like. Go through the chairs on. Good morning, Fruit Pats. Look at this amazing environment here. It reminds me of Thailand a lot. So tropical. I love it. It's a beautiful day. It rained a little bit last night, like a bit of a tropical shower, but it's drying up to be a beautiful day. Let's see if I can ride with the camera for a bit. Show you a little bit more. Ooh, a little bit sketchy. Hang on. Should be able to master one hand after like seven years of riding a bike. Oh, in this little creek. Ah, hang on. This little creek. This place is pretty beautiful, and there's actually a house for sale around here, and I would love to get it, but don't quite have the money, and. Um, you know, it's a little bit isolated as well, but it is stunning around here. It's kind of amazing how much this place looks like Thailand. So much sugar cane. It's everywhere. It's much better than meat and dairy, that's for sure, because sugar actually powers your cells. Yes, even cane sugar powers your cells. You're still getting carbohydrates which is fuel. Okay, I'm back from my ride and check it out on Facebook. If you don't follow me on Facebook, it's Freely the Banana Girl or on Instagram, Freely the Banana Girl. And I'm gonna have this melon, this half melon for a pre-breakfast nosh. Not my whole breakfast because it's just so low in calories, but that's gonna be a little entree breakfast. And it's raining outside and listen, listen to the birds. Hello birdies. Of course I have to stop when I come over. But they sound so tro There they go. They sound so tropical. I love that. And this is outside. This is the beautiful view we have from here. It is quite stunning. And especially when like a thunderstorm comes across, it is amazing. Really amazing. And there's little pigs just relaxing over there. And next up we have some mangoes. They look kind of yellow in this light, but they are actually quite orange and golden. They're going to be good. Little mango snack. Hey fruit bats, so this is my bikini. You've probably seen it a few times before, but um, I'm just about to go out and do a bit of sunbaking in the backyard. I'll probably go nude actually, but I'm just showing you my bikini. Obviously I can't show you me nude. Um, and I've got the, the beach close by now, which is really cool. So I can go down there and do a bit of sun worshipping and relaxing. So I'm excited about that. And obviously you can see that I'm not anorexic. Okay, there's people out there, oh, really so anorexic. Um, no, this is not what anorexia looks like. And I know a lot of you know that, but there's, you know, there's always some people out there who are a little delusional and you should not be throwing that term around willy nilly. Okay, because it looks, I mean, it means a whole lot more than just um, what someone looks like. It's a whole mental state and everything like that. So this is just a fit, healthy, lean body. Okay, now it's time for these apricots because they are on the edge of going off. So I'm going to get into these now. Hey, fruit bats. So I'm just working on my book, my ebook that is coming out soon, the Banana Girl Diet book, which um, you haven't seen yet, but it's looking really amazing. It's looking very, very cool. So stay tuned for that. And, um, you know, I've been putting a lot of work into it, as you can see. It's going to be awesome. So it's that time again. The bitches be walking. And Figsy is somewhere oh, in the yeah, she's back, there. back in the background. How's your day, Mum? Very tiring. She had a pretty tiring day because Mum spent all day at the nut house. In, in the, the nut, nut house. house. She runs the nut house, in <laughs> fact. I run the nut house. She has a dried fruit and nut business in the rain. Check it out Sunday from like one in the morning, oh, one in the morning. <laughs> till till late lunchtime. There goes Figs. Did anyone see Figs? Little Figsy! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Go 
Fitzy, go! Go! I decided to make some chiplets and I've got some garam masala on them and a little bit of sugar and chili. So I'm going to steam them and bake them. Okay, the chippies are ready, the chiplets. Chiplets are all ready and cooked up. I'm going to munch them down. Hey Fruit Bats, so I just want to show you some of my favorite products like skincare, makeup products because I've been using 100% Pure, that's the brand, for years now and I love it. I really, really love this brand and I'm not being paid or sponsored to say that or anything like that. I was recently sent a couple of little products from them to review but I have been spending my own money on these products for a long time now because I love them. They're genuinely good products. So you can be guaranteed that this opinion on these products is mine and not a sponsored opinion like you see a lot on YouTube. So one of my favorite ones, I'm going to go from order of favorite. All right, so this is my favorite. This is 100% pure pineapple enzyme peel. Okay, and this is really, really good. It is, you know, it's a lot more gentle than some like chemical peel or something like that. It's still a peel, so it takes kind of like the surface of your skin off. I know that sounds bad, but just like the dead skin cells that were going to come off anyway, it kind of just, you know, speeds them up and takes them off and really brightens up your skin. It does work. It is quite amazing. It's pineapple enzyme peel concentrated with papaya enzyme, vitamin C, citrus. Um, it just brings a brighter glowing comp complexion and it does okay I'm not one for gimmicks or anything like that so when I see these sort of things I'm like yeah right but this really does brighten up the skin and um, it's all natural this is vegan and um, it's fruit based okay all these products are fruit based that's what I love about it you know what I'm like I'm obsessed with fruit so if I can get fruit based products and bring them on in I'm gonna use them so that is great it's a great one and we've got this um, brightening scrub and mask this is a scrub. I don't know if you can see that properly. And the packaging is all very beautiful as well. And it's recyclable. How cool is that? The packaging is recyclable. The um, labels are made out of recyclable material and the ink that is used like to um, print the ingredients list and stuff like that is soy based ink. So it's all vegan. It's all fantastic and recyclable. So I really want to get behind a product that uses you know so much good stuff and it's cruelty free most importantly there are some vegetarian options like um, honey in them but I avoid those I go for the vegan ones because they're 100% cruelty free and vegan and that's what I'm all about as you know so this is one of my other favorite ones as well the cacao bronzer I think this is pretty damn cool like the packaging is really beautiful this camera probably doesn't do it justice but the packaging is beautiful and this is you know, like, look, the base is made out of cacao, so how cool is that? It's really, I don't know, I just feel very, you know, just cleaner. And just looking after myself better if I'm putting something that's fruit-based on my skin as opposed to some chemical and obviously something that is causing cruelty to animals. So you want to avoid that. So this cacao bronzer is really cool. Don't put it all over your face. Just put it, like, up here and around here and... You know, just watch a bronzing video. I am not some big makeup buff, as a lot of you know. I don't have much of a clue. I don't watch these makeup gurus, you know, maybe occasionally here and there. But I like to keep it simple. And if I find a nice bronzer, then I stick with that. And this is great. So, we've got a makeup palette here. And, like I said, I'm not all about makeup. I'm really, really not. But I like to, you know, keep it natural as possible. Keep it neutral. And this is a good little palette. Ah, oh, can I open up? Open up. This is a really good little palette. Um, it's natural kind of tones, just neutral tones. You got some blush and you got some eyeshadow and it's got a little mirror and it's got a little magnet packaging. Very beautiful packaging. This camera does not do it justice. But it's just really nice if you want like a naked kind of natural look with a bit of makeup but you don't want to go to too much trouble. This is very nice. And that's vegan as well. They're all vegan of course. And that's it. I've got this um, mint chocolate ice cream bubble bath. Holy cow, folks. Holy cow. This is amazing. This smells just like chocolate mint. Oh, I just want to guzzle it down. I really do because it smells really amazing. So in a bubble bath, this is going to be crazy. Or if you just want to use it as shower gel, whatever. So they're my favorite ones. And 
yeah, like it's just it's a good company to get behind because they're they're so environmentally friendly. I mean, there's so many out there like Revlon and all those mainstream brands that are just raping the environment. They're you know destroying the lives of animals. They're testing on the animals, and they're you know not ethical at all, and they're just corrupt and making billions of dollars. So support these smaller companies. You know, 100% Pure is a really good ethical company. I know they have honey in some of their um, products, but most of them are vegan. So buy the vegan products and support them. And yeah, I'll put a link to them down below. I'm not being paid for, to say this at all. This is my opinion. I can assure you, I love their products and I really think you won't be disappointed with them if you do want to use some products. If you don't, that's fine. But for those of you who do, check it out.